Welcome everyone back to another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. My name is Steve Free Per Normal. We are back once again with another video. So in this, I am going to do a couple of things. We are going to uh, probably start off by going over the news really quick and then transition into creating our own Deep Free Familia. Oof. And uh, after that, I mean, this spooky music has just got me, like, feeling good. Anyways, after that, we're going to take a look at the new units that came out again, which, by the way, long story short, you probably, I don't care how good they are, um, we kind of probably want to see what happens with the crossover units. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, there's new units that came out to commemorate the launch of the Familia Mode. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you are new, of course, for more content. To begin, Familia Launch Gasha, we are going to talk about that in a moment. But to begin, we're going to start off here with the little box. And the reason why this is relevant is because I might do these pulls in this video. So I did go ahead and pick up this. Uh, it's very rare that they put these little boxes in. They're very rarely worth it, though. But for me, who likes to do summons and likes to do some videos, I don't really care. Um, but anyways, moving on. So we have the Familia Launch box. Uh, you get one four-star adventurer, one four-star assist ticket, uh, and then 11 draw four-star guarantee ticket, and an 11 draw ticket, two 11 draw tickets. So, again, cool for me, but for most people, I would say, nah, don't even bother. Uh, but other than that, we do have the gacha available right here. And look at that, Hestia. Looking good, but Hestia is not my bestia, so it's cool. We got Freya, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, so we have four new assists. So, these banners are all about the gods, of course, because they're the familiar, uh, the characters the familiars are centered around. So, moving at, moving on from that, excuse me, there's a total of seven types of familiar launch gashas. That's a lot. So, we got Loki and Hestia there. And below that, we have uh, Dionius. And if Dion, Dionius, I don't know, how, however you pronounce that guy's name. And we have Freya looking cute there. And then we got this right here with all four of them. And then there are their individual paid-only banners as well. So not all of them are live right now, but the rest do go live uh, next Tuesday. So two are live now, and then they expire, and then on Tuesday, more go live. So from there, let's transition into... Did we get any gifts? Did we get good gifts? Uh, oh, we did. We got 200 Iris. I was like, I know I ain't got no gifts. So pick those up. Anyways, let's go over to the familiar section that just got added with the update last night. So, we are going to create our own familiar. It is going to be called D Free. Uh, D Free. Boom. Hi. I'll change this later if it's possible. I hope so. Uh, Deity. Oh, I see. Um. We will choose, we will choose Freya. Style, interesting. Freestyle, slow pace, serious players. I mean, whatever, man, I don't really care. Uh, active hours. What am I most active? I'm assuming that this is AM, yeah it is. My most active is about here. It's between eight and 12 to be honest, but that's cool. Kind of when I wake up. Condition is open. Yes. We now have our own familiar established. This is your first familiar. Communicate with other members by sending stickers. <laughs> so there's no one here. It's really lonely. But, uh, oh, there's just me. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one is not available yet. That's cool. Donation. What is this? Members of the familiar can donate their items or volleys. Okay, the familiar earns the con contribution points and valleys by donations. There's a daily limit to the amount of donated valleys. Uh, e earned valleys through donations can be used to change the deity of your familiar. Is that it? I don't really care because if that's all it is, I mean, I'm set, I guess. I don't really want to change my deity, so. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. It looks like I can change that info later on. But I'm trying to understand where that's more relevant. They were saying like, you know, you can do things with that, but it doesn't really seem like it. Maybe if I take on this event, which I haven't started yet, maybe it'll show me. Okay, the story needs to play. Maybe it'll show me something else. Maybe it lets me choose a friend in the familiar or something. Maybe. 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 Um. You don't know say. I don't see it. I don't see it. That's interesting. Huh. 
Maybe there's something I'm missing, which is, I mean, that's entirely possible. So if I'm missing something, let me know. And of course, by the next, I might already have figured it out if there is something to be missing in the first place. But by the next video, I might figure it out anyways. But let me know. So again, we do have these banners live. So I think we'll save these tickets for a more formal summon video, maybe. Um, my gosh, Freya, chill. Um, I'm a married man, Freya, chill. My wife would not like to hear this. <laughs> Am I being too loud? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to actually go over the characters because I have no idea what they do. Uh, there might have been some news over on the Discord, but uh, I haven't checked it out. I know Premise is very good about posting over there. So everything is an assist, so that's good to know. It's very easy to find. We start off with this Hestia. And she is a agility support. Interesting. And A and everything else. But agility primary. All attack damage taken plus 10%. Wait, what? Oh, to the foe. I was going to say, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and allies agility boost. Wow, this is a really good assist. Holy crap. Increasing their damage taken from all attacks? Wow. Okay, that's where we're going with this. I don't even need to comment on why that's good. But if that's good, oh, she's a magic ability uh, primary. Why does she look kind of like a guy here, Loki? Chill. Um, we already knew that. So A, instead of the double S in agility, um, A only. Okay. Almost 600 magic boost, though. That's a lot. Critical rate increase and penetration rate increase. 15% to 10%. She's really good. She's really good. Really, really good. They're going to be hitting very powerful. Those two abilities are pretty similar, too. It's funny how like they can stack like that. But, you know, they're different, but they're kind of similar. Um, they're just ways to do more additional damage, pretty much. But, nice. So far, I'd probably rather have Hestia, though. Oh, Freya, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Uh, magic. Oh, uh, okay. Well, she's going to be good in magic and dexterity. Yeah. Everything else seems to be as of right now. Okay, yeah. So, dexterity and magic are her main abilities. Actually, 600. Oh, my goodness. That dress. Uh, all attack damage minus 10% and magic plus 15. This is an insane assist. This is an insane assist. Debuffing the damage that you take? That is nutty. And increase. Not only. See, like, it would be crazy good if it only did the first part but the magic boost like these assists have been insanely good for the last like three or four months like this game just jumped into a massive power creep with these assists like i might i don't even like calling it that but it is what it is man like these assists have been d disgustingly powerful in succession these last three months like it just it kind of feels like you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't have these units. And of course, that's her max out stuff. So maybe I should check out 8 and 10 is still insanely good. Like you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't have these units at this point. So like I mean, like I said earlier, you can wait, but uh, I'm starting to get like, I don't know, man, you probably should summon. <laughs> oh, hey, finally one that's a strength focus. I've been waiting for that. Of course, it's Dionius, the one I don't care about. The god of wine, I do not care. Uh double S in fact. Wow, 560 is pretty pretty high amount. Max HP, 10% damage, poison, and heal, minus 25. Oh, he's a... Wow. He's a he's a debuffer. With the healing, and also uh, applies poison. Nutty. Poison will be back, but anti-poison assists are still a thing. If I interpret this, I mean, this is very bad English anyway. If I'm interpreting this right, max HP, 10%, damage, poison. So... I feel like there's an adventure I use that has that. Ryu. I think Ryu has that. Anyways. Nutty. But the, the Hestia and... Oh my goodness. The Hestia and the... And the... Um, Freya are just disgustingly powerful. That's crazy. And they can be used, it seems like, in succession. And Hestia is versatile. She's got the A in magic and strength. So she can be used with either adventurer. And she's also very solid for the other abilities. So she's very versatile. Um, having an agility focus is really interesting. That's not very common. So they're going to be very fast. She also increases the agility again and allows you to output more damage. So you can have something like this alongside the other one that allows you to take less damage. And that's a pretty crazy swing when you think about it. 
15% or so increase to damage. Not to mention how fast you're going to get a little bit after that, which the agility stat is still kind of confusing to me. It seems like the game doesn't really have the proper priorities. Anyways, moving on. And then plus the debuff to the opponent's damage you take, plus the increase to magic. Like those two, those two together is crazy. Wow. I just, I kind of don't really care about the other banner at all. Like I really only want those two characters. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to join the familia. We'll be back when we do some formal summons uh, on that banner for those two. But they seem like they are going to be must-haves. Now, last thing I want to see really quick is I don't think that they're time-limited, so that's good. That means you can get them at any point, by the way. I'm pretty sure they're not time-limited. Unlike the Halloween units. The Halloween units are time-limited. But, the, yeah, these are units that are going to be in the normal pool. But all of the Halloween units, unfortunately, which I didn't really cover these in a video, uh, these ones... The older Halloween units that got re-released, but re-released here for the first time on this version of the game. But nonetheless, I didn't really cover them, but they're all time limited. So if you can, maybe get one copy. The game gives a lot of Iris for free. Like, for example, we just got 200, which is a nice amount. It's half a multi, and then, of course, there's always the record buster and all that stuff. So nonetheless, um, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Join the Familia. And uh, I don't. I feel like there's probably a limit to however many can get in. So, of course, first, from, first come, uh, first served. Anyways, have an awesome day, and I'll catch all of you in the next one. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.